Hello friends, James Stevenson back with another episode of Who's Hating Hard on Tesla Today? Today's hater is once again Fax Chaser on X at Fax Chaser. Let me uh, check in with Loki. You can see that Loki is curled up in bed, snoozing uh, as usual, making me do all the work. Uh, you can keep an eye on Loki in the Loki cam right here while I turn my attention to this post on X begun by Fax Chaser at Fax Chaser. Musk fanboys falsely bla <laughs> blag. Musk fanboys falsely brag. Easy for me to say. That the Tesla Model Y is the best-selling car in the world. It is not, he said. In Europe in 2023, top-selling car brands. VW, 3.3 million. Stellantis, 2.1 million. Renault, 1.2 million. Hyundai, 1.1 million. BMW, 913,000. If you think that he made a hard left turn between this first paragraph and the second paragraph, uh, I agreed with you and left a reply to that effect. We'll come back to the community note in a minute. Uh, here's my reply. Tesla fanboys claim Model Y was the best-selling car model in the whole world, but they're wrong as proof. Here's a table showing total car sales by brand in Europe. Uh, facts chase, but not apprehender, is who said that, in my estimation. Uh, so here's the facts. The facts are JTO, uh, car images by Imogen Studio, uh, world's top three best-selling cars in 2023. Tesla Model Y was number one, selling 1.23 million vehicles. That's the truth. Uh, what did Facts Chaser say with his uh, dumb screenshots here? He gave you Europe only December and January through December. So this is year to date December over here. Total sales by brand. Yeah. Uh, so somewhere on here is Tesla. Here it is. This gray one down here. So Tesla was up 56.9% year over year from 233,000 units sold to 366,000 units sold in total. But... Uh, this chart isn't only showing you EVs. This chart is showing you combustion ve uh, engine vehicles as well, which is how Stellantis is on here <laughs> with any kind of showing at all. Uh, I guess these are ranked from top to bottom in order of total company corporate sales. And then under each company, they list the brands owned by that corporation. So for VW, Audi, Skoda, Seat, Cupra, Porsche, and others. Uh, and you can see the rest here. All right, so uh, very funny. This is the ACEA estimates here. And then new car registrations by manufacturer. There's those numbers again that we just talked, 366 and 233. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's what uh, Fax Chaser said. Uh, Dutchy replied, never let details get in the way of your slander. Fax Misser is who he attributed that quote to. So what does Fax Chaser think happened? He thinks the Toyota Corolla handily outsold Tesla Model Y in 2023, as he noted last year. Uh, so let's see if he tried telling me that too. Uh, where's my other replies? Was it here? I think I replied to him to let him know what, what he did wrong. Well, this is not making for very good television. Oh, here it is. Counting all versions, including the cross SUV. Equally true, carpenters outnumber plumbers if you count carpenter ants as carpenters. <laughs> Just because it has the word Corolla in it doesn't mean Corollas outsold Model Ys. Toyota built an SUV and then named it the Corolla Cross. That doesn't make it a Corolla. Uh, which I told him at the time uh, here in this tweet that I retweeted myself from November 26th of 2023, correcting him, same guy, he knows uh, that he's trying to fool people. This is the Toyota Corolla Cross. As you can see at a glance, it is not a Corolla. It is the twin model. Uh, the twin model is called the Toyota Frontlander in China, introduced in late 2021. Yeah, so you can read all about that here. It's the larger version of the CHR with which it shares a platform. 
All right, so that was that. I guess I needed to show you the uh, the community note that I promised to pay off. This post is confounding an individual car model with brands. The Model Y was indeed the best-selling car model in 2023 with 1.23 million sales worldwide with a link instead of a screenshot like I left to JTO uh, and to Motor One. And I rated that note as helpful because it said exactly what I said when I ratioed him with 298 likes to his uh, 120 here. All right. I forgot to mention in the previous video about John Bryant that I ratioed him in that one as well. Uh, let me show you how bad that ratio was. Uh, 334 likes here to John's 71. A little bonus for you there at the end of the episode. That's all we have for today. That's who's hating hard on Tesla today. It is Fax Chaser, also known as Fax Misser, also known as Fax uh, Not Apprehender. Uh, what did I call him? I called him Fax, Fax Something, but Not Apprehender. Uh, Fax Chase, but Not Apprehender. That makes sense. All right. Uh, so back to uh, the screen where I thank you for supporting me if you support me and remind you to like the video if you haven't liked the video already to uh, help the algorithm recommend this video to other people. Uh, and if you want to know how to subscribe to me, there's notes in the video description or you can check out my profile page on X, uh, whatever you want to do. Special shout outs to my two executive producers, Kathy Kitchler and Rebellionaire.com, and I'll see you in the next one.